Hey guys, and today in this video, hopefully you had a Merry Christmas, but I'm going to be showing you this absolutely insane Ice Worn build. So let's get straight into this. This Ice Worn build is absolutely insane. It peaks at around 9k DPS. I'm sure sometimes you can get 10k depending on your items. But, <coughs> excuse me, this is what I have in my inventory right now. Now I found out recently that the Jolly set... When you wear the full set, it actually increases your melee power like absolute mad. So I definitely recommend wearing this set when using the Ice Worn or any other melee weapon for that matter. Like, let me just test this with Reaper Scythe real quick. I just want to see if it's good. Oh, it's 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 pretty good actually. <clears throat> but we're here to showcase the Ice Worn, not the Reaper Scythe. So let me just show you how good this actually is. You get the Doom Bucket, by the way, from the Doombringer quest line in uh, Brimstone. It's a pretty easy quest line, really easy. You get the Jolly Set from crafting it with 200 snowballs. You get the Ice Mord from either a drop from the boss, or you can craft it. It's not that hard, it's just very time consuming. Arm Bracer, honestly, I'm going to pin the comment, whoever tells me where this is from, I forgot. Ranges cape if you get it if you're a beta tester, but if you don't have ranges cape just use anything else that uh, Can be replaced with ranges cape It could be practically anything uh, That replaces it honestly I don't even know if rings can go here, but if they can just equip something But um, if you if you don't want to use the negative skeleton mask which you can get from the graveyard then definitely use the slime king crown which is a drop from the Slime King boss. And, um, yeah, you can get the Malevolent Minded Curse from the Red Orc by completing the Orc Chief's quest line and then lighting a candle and be able to go into a door where there is quest lines and you do the Red Orcs. So, anyway, let's get to the build. So, as you can see, fully charged up, do a heavy hit attack, 7k, 8k absolutely insane this p okay it peaks at around eight and a half k that's very good very good if only the attacks we this thing was very faster very much faster that would be very nice i wish this worked with the candy cane scythe but if you actually do this it only does around like 3k dps total actually that does it ton of damage though <laughs> that's surprising actually oh well it might be good for a lot of weapons but definitely ice more the best build for this so yeah if you guys enjoy hit that like button below subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one